today let us see a problem from marco chain we are given a marco chain xn with three states and naturally its transcend probability matrix is going to be a 3v3 matrix that is also given we are asked to draw the transcend diagram then we have to we are asked to check whether the chain is irreducible and specifically state 3 is it ergodic ergodic or not that we are asked to verify first of all the chain has three states so we draw three node between nodes we draw an arc if the probability is not equal to zero so probability is zero only for uh, between 1 and 3 and 3 and 1 so there should not be an arc between 1 and 3 and 3 and 1 between all other nodes 1 and 1 there is an arc 1 and 2 there is an arc so that is what so in here so in here 1 and 1 there is an arc 1 and 2 there is an arc 2 and 1 2 and 2 2 and 3 there is an arc so 2 and 1 there is an arc 2 and 2 there is an arc that is called a self loop 2 and 3 there is an arc 3 2 2 3 2 probability is non zero so draw an arc between 3 to 2 and 3 to 3 self loop so this is a state transcend diagram now is the chain irreducible look at that can we reach all the states from all other states state 1 to 2 is it possible yes direct arc is there state 1 3 to 3 even though there is no uh, direct arc we can reach from state 1 to 3 via the state 2 state 1 to 2 2 to 3 so state 1 to 3 is reachable state 2 to 1 direct arc is there so it is reachable state 2 to 3 direct arc is there so it is reachable state 3 to 1 it is reachable reachable via state 2 3 to 2 2 to 1 state 3 to 2 direct arc is there so it is reachable so all the states are reachable from all other states so the chain is irreducible now let us see whether the state 3 is ergodic now the chain is finite it has only three states state 1 2 3 and moreover we have seen it is irreducible in the second part of the question so we have a theorem if a chain is finite and irreducible all its states are non null and persistent so let us make use of that theorem and we conclude all the states are non null and persistent in particular state 3 is non null and persistent let us calculate the period of state 3 in how many steps we can return back again to state 3 from state 3 state 3 to 3 we can return back in one step that is given in the loop so we i have written in one step it can be returned back again to state 3 state 3 to 3 we can return back in two steps state 3 to 2 2 to 3 in two steps we can return back so that is shown here state 3 to 3 we can return back in step 3 3 steps state 3 to 2 2 to 2 2 to 3 in three steps we can return back that is shown here state 3 to 3 we can return back in four steps state 3 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 2 2 2 3 1 we can return back in four steps so if we combine all these values and take gcd it gcd is going to be one uh, reason is very obvious we have two primes so naturally when we have two prime numbers gcd is going to be one now we can say state 3 is a periodic since its period is one already it is non null persistent and it is aperiodic also so by definition we can conclude state 3 is ergodic with this the problem is over and let us see another problem in the next video thank you